One of the applications of full self-driving that I really haven't found to be terribly useful in my driving is how well the car performs or doesn't perform through roundabout intersections. Typically when I come up on a roundabout intersection, I'll disengage the autopilot and drive it myself, either out of concern for safety or just for how well I feel I could drive the intersection versus full self-driving. In the past, I've demonstrated roundabout type intersections in my drives, but because of the camera placement, uh, I really haven't been able to show you or convey through video what my concerns are. So today we're going to take the car out through three different roundabout intersections and we will drive each one three separate times to give you a total of nine opportunities to see how it performs. I'll change the camera placement to allow oncoming traffic to be viewed easier from the left so you can see traffic coming into the intersection as my car navigates through it. And I'll also bring the drone along to give you a bird's eye view to share what's been going on in these types of intersections. So with that, we're gonna head out on the road. I'll see you there. So we're at the first roundabout and our car's in the correct lane for the route that we've selected. It's a little hesitant here. We've got traffic backing up behind us. I'm using the accelerator to help it out a little bit just because of the traffic. Now in the last run through here, we had uh, some hesitation getting into the roundabout and I had two cars stacked up behind me. So I did have to use the accelerator to encourage the car to enter the roundabout. Once it got into the roundabout, navigation through it was, was fine. It was a little shaky, I would say, just kind of navigating around the curve. Uh, but in terms of getting in and out of the roundabout, everything went well. So we're going to say that that one wasn't very good. Car is slowing down to get into the roundabout. Going 22, 19, we're going to slow right to the stop here. No traffic, sees that it's safe to proceed. and then makes the correct lane exit. So that all looked really good. So the last roundabout was the only one that was unassisted by the vehicle. The other two either had to disable it or assist it. So we're gonna set up for the next one right now. All right, we're gonna be navigating through the next roundabout here in just a minute. And so I'm going to start the route, start the autopilot right now. And we did perfect that time. Time for run number two through this. So we're gonna let the car change lanes again. Set speed is at 35. No traffic that I could visibly see coming into the roundabout. Everything very well done there. Good job. All right, this is run number three. This time we got a car coming in from the left. Looks like it navigated that pretty well.
We are at the third intersection and it's pausing for traffic and actually they've got the yield and we've got the right of way so had to give it some accelerator there to um, encourage it to go through all right here we come up on the second run i must say that i'm not very happy that the car comes to full stop and there's no traffic coming you know, i can kind of understand it that it has to pause to check for traffic and make sure it's safe. But other than that, navigation through that was uh, was very good. Here we are back at the studio, and I just wanted to get your thoughts on how you thought the drive went. Did you think it went well overall? Is full self-driving now at a state where it can safely handle roundabout intersections? Or do you feel that there's still some things, some tweaks that need to be worked out uh, in the programming? Be interested to hear your thoughts. If you, feel, if you are inclined to share those, please put them in the comments section down below. If you like the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, check back here or simply hit the subscribe and notify button. Subscribing to this channel is completely free and it really helps to show your support for this kind of work and content creation. And that's all I have for this week. I just wanted to thank you for coming along today and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good week. Yeah.